Hello, this is Charlie Zorro, and welcome to Episode 8 and the Adventures of Denisha. In this episode, Denisha is going to travel to Thracy's Lodge to speak to the ranger Anglis to see if Anglis will assist in rescuing Avertal from the horrible dower hands. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and we will pick it up at Thracy's Lodge. Okay, Denisha has arrived at Thracy's Lodge. So let's go up and talk to Langlis. What do you need? Elves and dwarves living as neighbors in Arid Luin is worse than keeping a lynx kitten and a wolf pup in the same house and I hope you don't take offense to my saying so. In the interest of maintaining peace in Arid Luin, I will respect Matthew Stouthand's wishes and arrange for a rescue of Averthal. I do not want to bear the burden of our rescue ending in failure, but a ranger does not have the luxury of refusing charges such as this one. If I were to refuse, Averthal's life would be forfeit, and so too would be the peace of Arid Luin. I will organize the attempt if you will help me. Of course. Stay a moment. Rumor of Averthal's capture has come to me. Matthew's fears were met, were merit, have merit. The elves of Dulanod remember the treachery of Scorborn Dowerhands 600 years ago and do not easily recognize the difference between dwarves. The short reign of Thrain and his son Thorin in Arid Luin was marked by a grudging peace only because their folks kept to themselves and did not trouble the elves. Very well, I will help you to rescue Avathal and hopefully avert a war. In this darkening time, strife between the enemies of Mordor can only serve to aid the Dark Lord. This rescue will not be easy. Return to me when you are ready to depart for the Dowerhand camp. Okay. Let's go ahead and do that. Greetings. This will be a difficult task. I will guide you to the place I believe Avarthal is being held. We will no doubt have to fight our way through a gauntlet of sturdy Dowerhand warriors. We must watch each other's ba backs, lest we fall. The Ranger Langlas prepares to mount an effort to rescue the Elf Prince Avorthal from the clutches of the treacherous Dowerhands. We must hurry. Ah, the grim water. Ah, this should be fun. Come here, guys. Okay, we'll rest just a minute and let our morale Go up a little bit. There we go. They know we are here. Let's continue.
Alright, let's see how many of these guys we can pull. Cool! Come here, you. You are a boon companion. Yes, let us end this. Well, that's cool. Cool. Our efforts were for naught. This has been a waste of time and blood, neither of which we can afford. Let us discuss our possible paths back at the lodge. Greetings. Oh, cool. She did, completed one of her class deeds. All right. What can I do for you? This is certainly distressing news. It appears the Darahans were one step ahead of us all the while. Ah, oh, well, I suppose we must follow their trail. Kaladul is the center of Darahan power, the last remaining town in Arid Luin which they control. Conflict will not be easily avoided there. Well, let's see. Yep. Okay. Could I speak with you a moment? We must not delay, Denisha. We must rescue Avathal from the Dowerhands before they are able to set sail. The Dowerhands control the port city of Kes of Caladul to the east, and the ship they plan to carry Avathal is surely docked there. Kaladul is defended by a score of dower hands, and it is a position of great strength. We cannot hope to attack it directly. If we are to have any hope of rescuing Avathal, we will need the help of one who knows the city. I know a dwarf, a longbeard named Savnar, who will, who was harbor master of the port before the dower hands captured the city. You will find him to the east of here. Not far from Kaladul. All right. Let's get ready to go rescue Avrathal. Denisha is certainly all for avoiding a war with the dwarves. And by the way, oh, there's a. Hinderval, we'll take him out while we're here. Come back. Come here, you.
and that is the Dower Hard Stronghold. So, pretty cool. As we will see in just a moment. Greetings, Traveler! If you want to get inside Keladul, I'm the dwarf you need. The Dower Hands have let my fine harbor sink into filth and despair. Any foe of theirs is a friend of mine. A ship came out of the north and has been sitting at anchor for a few days now. From what I can gather, she's called the Irestone, and her captain is a particularly unpleasant looking Dower Hand. If he's planning on taking this elf prince back north on his ship, you'll need to hurry. I overheard the guards at the gate saying the ship won't be long in port. During the day, you will be too visible, but at night you might but at night you need not be a burglar to sneak into the Caladul unexpected. You'll want to stay clear of the night watch or they'll raise the alarm. Okay. If you're prepared, let us go. Yep. Avorthal had been moved from the Dowerhand encampment to a ship preparing to depart for an unknown port in the north. His rescue is paramount to maintaining peace in Eredluin. All right, let's head in. Well, he's a wonderful guard, just slaying there. Oh, and here's his buddies. What is happening? Oh no. Let's make sure the alarm's not sounded. We have to take this guy out too. Let's take this Night Watchman out and his buddy. That's kind of neat, but no time for sightseeing. We have to rescue Avathol. How about you? There's the ship. Yeah. Oh cool, we completed scouting the Dower Hands. We have no time, we must rescue Averthal. Praise Elbereth, one who might be of help. You are here to free me? Scorbrand Dowerhand has raised a goblin army to the in the cleft of Wrath Terragon, and unless we stop him, he will sweep through all the free lands. There is no time to waste, my friend. We will need to defeat the captain and his crew if we are to escape from Keladul with our, with our lives and bring word of the danger which grows stronger within Wrath Carag. The captain will soon return quickly. Untie my hands. We will need to escape. Okay. Up oh, too late, there's the captain. Yeah. 
Yay! We have successfully defended Averthrall. The shadow has risen. We must hurry, Denisha. Skorgrim has assembled an army of goblins within Wrath Terang. And though my rescue should end the threat of the war between the dwarves and the elves, I fear that the goblin army will not long remain within the narrow pass. Let us bring this warning out of Castle Duel yeah, into the light of morning, and may our chances of peace also shine bright. Cool. May Gavanan. So we have rescued Averthrall. What do you need? Averthal is safe, and the promise of peace is much closer than it was, but Arid Luin is not free of the threat of war yet, Denisha. We must defeat Skorgrim Dowerhan and end his menace, and we must do so quickly before he can put the second stage of his plan into motion. Stay a moment. I will send word to Mathy Stouthan and Galathan in Gondaman of Averthal's safe return and to warn their masters. The free peoples of Arid Luin must unite if they are to drive Skorgrim and his goblin allies from this land. While Lord Dwalin and Master Dorigar, Dorigangur, whatever, assemble their forces, I have an urgent task for you, Denisha. The goblins have mustered in Wrath Terang, and if we are to have any hope of reaching Skorgrim, we must thin their ranks. Journey to the outskirts of Wrath Terang, a valley south of Gondaman, and speak with the dwarf there. He will have more instructions for you. Aid him, and Dwalin and Dorgur may have a greater chance of victory. All right. So we need to go back to Gondaman, and then head south to Wrath Terang. But before we do that, Let's head out to the elf ruins and help Glamir. So I will pause the video and we'll pick it up at the elf ruins. Okay, Den Denisha has arrived at the elf ruins. And let's talk to Glamir. Megovanen. My brother sent you? I fear that both my brothers and I have sorely underestimated the depth of the defilement of these once bountiful lands. Even with your help, I am not sure we can do more than stem its growth, much less destroy it. Sweelad Melon. Greetings, Elf. I received her vis few visitors here at my home of old, but I am sure you did not come to listen to tales of yore. What brings you to these wasting halls? You say that evil rites roam the burrows in the northeast of my home? It is indeed well that Gathlin sent you to me, and with the elf stone. I have a task for you if you are willing. Megovanen. And then... Scary Blackheart? Yes, I know of him indeed. I have seen him just beyond the main gates of the Dowerhan encampment to the north. Be cautious, the going will not be easy within the walls of the encampment. Okay, a deadly task. Hey, Vanen, might you spare a moment of your time? Okay, we need to defeat 12 whites. Greetings, friend. And will defeat you me the air? Mound Whites and Mound White Archers. Okay, we can do that. Mind my words, traveler. This land has been sullied before by the dwarves and their keep on the hill, and more recently by half orcs and craven. Now wicked spiders have entered the land, slaughtering the wildlife and endangering travelers. Thankfully, these evil creatures have so far only been found in the furthest northeast reaches of Han Lin. But these lands would be better for their absence. Seek out the evil spiders and drive them from their lairs. We can certainly look at doing that. Stay a moment. And she also wants us to collect spinnerets of spiders. Okay, we can do that too. Ah, dear dwarf, what would you like? 
Will you stay and speak with me a moment? You there, perhaps you can help with a little dispute. While I was away among the burrows to the northeast hunting those for a lost trinkets, I saw an old bony white wandering around the mounds. Fortunately, it didn't notice me, but the sight nearly froze my blood. Now, my friend Galti doesn't believe me. He claims there are no burrow rites out, out among the old Adain ruins or mounds, but he's been so, no further than the mounds near Gondaman, and those don't seem to be haunted. You look daunty enough to face down a white or two. Perhaps you would go out to the burrows and collect a trophy I can prove I wasn't seeing things. Well, of course. I'm going to be there anyway. Might you lend me an ear? I wonder if I could trouble you for a moment. A friend of mine, Percy, struck out on his own to the grove northeast of Kazadur to collect herbs for his recipes. I warned him of the threat of vicious spiders in the area, but he laughed me off. Percy is a good fellow and a fine cook, but he can be a bit addle-brained at times. My annoyance has turned to worry. Set a dwarf's mind at ease and search for him, will you? I'm sure you just I'm sure he's just lost track of time. Okay, well we will certainly take a look and search for him. So I tell you what, let's go ahead and the first thing we want to do is go to the burrows. And take out the hindervals on the way. Whoops. Don't want to run into any trees. Ah, Dowerhan. We will take you out too. Come back here. And another dower hand. All right. Okay, let's press on. Come here, Henderball. Oh, wow. Okay, and here's the burrow mounds. These creatures aren't nearly as scary as she expected them to be. Of course, I can't quite say die because, well, they already are dead, but they should get the idea. Go away. What about the worm? Okay. Oh, the archers are not going to come after me. Well, that kind of sucks. There we go. That's better. We'll go over and get this lone skeleton. Here we 
go. Now let's run up here. Come on, chase me, chase me. Excellent. Cool. So we need one more right. And there he goes. Excellent. All right, let's run back over and talk to the elves. We can also bring Nithi his his trophy. Cuz we can definitely uh Confirm his story that there are whites in the borrows. What do you want? Ha! I knew ha I hadn't been seeing things. This is the proof indeed. Here, take these coins as your reward. Wait, something is not right with the skull. Can't you feel it? The chill? I should not have sent you to that place, and I certainly shall not have you bring this thing back to Gondaman. Might you lend me an ear? There are legends about the old bones. Some say they are moved... Some say they are moved about by fell spirits from a distant age. Some say the whites are the restless dead, but even I know better than that. The will that stirs these bones does not belong in Middle-earth. Something should be done about these creatures, but they are beyond my ken. Perhaps the elf, brave enough to keep vigil here, will know how to deal with this threat. His name is Glamir, and he dwells just on the other side of this ruin. Show him the skull and see if he knows what to do with it. Well, yes, I know Glamir. He's like, right there. I talked to him before. Greetings to you. Okay, let's see. That looks like they're both pretty much the same price, so... Swilad Melon. Megovanen, might you spare a moment okay. of your time? Whites roam the burrows of Hanlin. I know not what this portends, but never before have such creatures been seen in these lands. They are the creatures of the Witch King of Agmar. This bodes ill for Iridor and perhaps for all of Middle Earth, for eyes which should be turned south, may turn north instead, and be blinded by the larger threat. As it ever is with evil, no doubt a greater than will drives the lesser amid the burrows. It is that greater will which must be destroyed. Only thus will Agmar's designs on Arid Luin be hindered. Take this elf stone into the burrows and place it upon the largest standing stone. It is a white stone near a ruined building. The elf stone bears such a virtue that may cause the greater will of which I spoke to be drawn forth, and you must confront it. Okay, we can certainly do that. Hail, friend, and well met. And then the haunted lands. Okay. Excellent. All right, well, before we continue, let me pause the video for just a second, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here, and then in our next adventure, we will go ahead and take the Elfstone back into the burrows, 
and we will also take on the dower hands of the grim water so i certainly hope that you enjoyed the video please give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and until next time safe journeys and take care